Hey everybody, Matt here, and today I am going to review this Cooper's Craft uh, Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is around $20, $25. Bucks. Um, this is from Brown Foreman. Uh, the connection to Cooper, so Cooper is just a barrel maker, but the connection there is that uh, Brown Foreman has always, unlike most of the major bourbon uh, producers, they've always had their own Cooperages. So they've been able to do a lot more experimentation and a lot more customization uh, with their barrels over the years. And so Cooper's Craft is, a, is just sort of a homage to the fact that they have their own Cooperages, one in Louisville, which is really great when, to go visit. But um, anyway, this is Cooper's Craft. There's two versions of it. It's Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Uh, it's 75% corn, 15% rye, 10% malted barley. Uh, there's this one, which is 82 proof, and then there's another 100 proof one as well. Uh, no age statement on it. Um, I'm a big fan of almost anything Brown Foreman does, um, which is Woodford, um, Jack Daniels, Old Forester. So if you're a big Old Forester fan and you've not tried Cooper's Craft, uh, I think that's one of the first places to go. And so you want to try this for 20 bucks and see what it's like. So, all right. So I do get that kind of signature brown form and brown sugar note here. The oak is pretty subtle, pretty light. There's a, like a touch of um, kind of an herb note here which to me manifests kind of as a mintiness. Yeah, really nice soft sugar. Uh, you can see the color here. So not overwhelmingly dark. You know, this is not meant to be an old oak bomb by any stretch. This is gonna be a nice lighter style. Um, one of the things that's different about this particular bourbon is that it says it's beech and birch uh, charcoal filtered. So they've got beech charcoal, birch charcoal. I believe beech wood, correct me if I'm wrong, is not is the wood that they use to filter um, Budweiser with. So, all right, let's try it. Mmm. Really soft really soft. If you're a seasoned bourbon drinker, this is going to be like drinking water to you. No flaws whatsoever. Mid palate sweetness, more sweetness on the finish, not a ton of oak. The fruit is really nice and balanced. There's nothing that sticks out too much. Um, it's an elegant style of whiskey. Yeah, there, I get that minty note on the nose here. Um, the finish is not super long. Uh, again, at 82 proof, I mean, this thing is just super sippable all day long. So if you're just looking for like two fingers of whiskey that you can drink neat, this is great. Like I said, this is not necessarily for seasoned bourbon drinkers, but if you like what Brown Foreman does. And if you're like me, you want to taste through all the different iterations of the kind of whiskey they can produce. I think it's valuable to try something like Cooper's Craft. And if you are a more seasoned bourbon drinker, then I think trying something like the 100 proof is probably the way to go. Um, yeah, this is not one that I would necessarily collect. But as, as a drinker or as to have something in your house that's like a little bit of a lighter style, uh, I think it's great. And if you're a Woodford drinker, honestly, if, if you're just like a everyday Woodford drinker and you want something that is like 15 bucks cheaper uh, and it's going to deliver basically the same flavor profile, but at a lower price and at a slightly lower proof, um, or if you're a Woodford drinker, but sometimes you find it like a little too spicy, a little too high proof, this would actually be perfect for you. So everyday Woodford drinkers, Cooper's Craft, give it a shot. Uh, experienced bourbon drinkers, put this on your bar, serve it to your 
less experienced friends. Um, but yeah, this is it's a great product and at some point I'll review the 100 proof as well. All right, cheers.